And Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi is tonight warning that money laundering lords, commonly known in Kenya as wash wash, are on the verge of literally buying their way into elective politics. Matiangi says that Kenya is at risk of having at least 40% of its elective offices occupied by money laundering criminals. And as Citizen TV's Maria Nyambura reports, other state actors, including the IBC, are raising concern over weak election finance regulations ahead of the August 2022 general election. With just 90 days to the August 9th polls, Interior CS Fred Matiangi is warning that the race for elective positions is dominated by criminals and money launderers. The internal security chief estimates that crooks, particularly money launderers, could well pick up to 40% of elective seats in the forthcoming election. The amount of money being spent in the campaigns out here is incredible and totally crazy. We are going to have an unprecedented case of voter bribery in Kenya during these elections. And as I've said before, and I'm not shy to say it here again today, uh, if we are not very careful as a country, we're going to launder into elective institutions, drug dealers, uh, criminals of unprecedented standards. Matiangi blamed the current situation on what he termed a weak or non-existent regulation on campaign funding. See across the country. His statement comes months after the National Assembly rejected clauses in the Elections Act that could see the amount of money spent on election campaigns capped. <laughs> IEBC had proposed election campaign finance regulations that, among other things, capped presidential campaign expenditure to 4.4 billion shillings and political parties' expenditure limit at 17.7 billion shillings. The rejection of the proposals by the National Assembly has made it free season for everyone on spending, and the Interior CS says corruption suspects and other criminals are doing well. Those are the ones who are uh, hiring crowds, and hiring people from one end of the country to another end. And in some constituencies, the people we are profiling or we are investigating, or the people on Mr. Kinoti's radar, are the leading candidates in, in, in some constituencies and in some areas. IEBC chairperson Wafula Chebukati, on his part, lamented loss of powers to rein in on electoral misconduct adding that political players have been using the law courts to cripple the IEBC. Compared to 2017, where we managed to contain political temperatures, stop candidates from tearing each other's posters, harassing each other in campaign venues, we were, our teeth were removed. We don't have any teeth. Our goal is to conclude all election-related cases ahead of the next general elections and also to assure you that we in the judiciary will remain Matiangi's statement on campaign funding comes as parties conclude filing nomination returns and the campaign enters the 90-day homestretch. Mirianya Mura, Citizen TV.